Alright, so what's going on guys? Wolf6 here, trying to you in Pokemon Red version. I'm sorry, I got really close to my mic there for no reason, I'll just do it. But, we are in Pokemon Red version. This is such a throwback to when I was just young. When I first started getting into Pokemon, Hello there. <coughs> Hello there. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets. Others use them for fights. Myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. First, what is your name? My name, of course, is Waffles. Waffles. But I am doing something new with the channel, and I hope everyone else, everyone that's been a long time subscriber for me, doesn't mind. But I'm a big fan of Pokemon, and currently I'm not having fun with what I have been recording, but I've been having a lot of fun recording Pokemon. So. This is what I want to do, and currently I want to play through all of the games as many as I can from Pokemon Red Ration all the way up through the generations until I reach, of course, so I can play Sun and Moon, which comes out this November. November, yeah, and I can't wait. So, yeah. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were a baby. Er, um, what is his name again? I'm gonna go with the casual blue for him. That's right, I remember now. His name is Blue. Waffles. Your very own Pokemon legend is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures with Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Now, I have been such a big fan of Pokemon since... I was five, six. I've always been a fan. And I remember playing Pokemon Red and all of these. And I'm honestly just so hyped for it because I'm such a big fan of doing these, of doing this series in general. Like this little. Hey, wait, don't go out. It's unsafe, wild Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know. Here, come with me. I'm not gonna read too much of the dialogue in the game, just because it is not so much tedious, but I, like, in the beginning of the game, I will. But when it comes to, like, just end the main storyline, I will. But when it comes to just, like, battling random traders and that, Cramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Blue, let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come. Just wait. Here, Waffles. There are three Pokemon here. <laughs> they are inside the Pokeballs. When I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. In my old age, I have only three left, but you can have one. Choose. Hey, Cramps, what about me? Be patient, Blue. You can have one too. So, here's the biggest thing that's gonna go through this whole playthrough. Do I want Charmander? No. Do I want Squirtle? Or do I want, of course, the grass starter, Bulbasaur? Now this is a hard decision for me because I love all three, but I'm going to have to go with one of my favorites, honestly, out of all three. My favorite has always been Squirtle. Honestly, I can never, I can never turn down my Squirtle. I love, I love Squirtle so much. It's my, it's my favorite Pokemon, honestly, and I just can't turn it down when I got the chance, honestly. 
Yes, I'm gonna give a Squirtle the nickname. What do you want to nickname Squirtle? Squirtle. Squirtle. Squirtle, 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 Squirtle. I'm gonna name you Pom Pom. Pom. The spacer dash perfect. Pom Pom. Your name is now Pom Pom. Yeah. Pom Pom. Okay, Blue's turn, which of course he's gonna choose Bulbasaur. I mean, honestly, because he just wants to be better than us and try and beat us, even though we can't because we are obviously better. Wait, Waffles! Let's check out our Pokemon! Come on, I'll take you on! Really? Uh, uh. I prefer to just talk instead of reading all the dialogue, but I will really read like some key parts, like certain, like, yeah, things that affect the actual, of course, Pom Pom or Little Squirtle. No, as far as I'm concerned, the easiest way to take care of your um, first rival battle is just to continuously use Tackle or Scratch. Okay, never mind, that might not work here. Obviously, I use a little bit more strategy when I'm playing otherwise, but like, it, it, it's honestly just what I found out is easiest. You just keep on using Tackle or Scratch or whatever you got, eventually you're gonna beat them. It's just that simple. Because, and depending, unless they get like super lucky and get a crit or something like that, 9 out of 10 you actually win. But it's. It's sometimes not the, like sometimes they'll win, sometimes you'll win, it, it really all depends, and there's our crit, as I was talking about, there's a crit, usually you get at least one crit in the first battle though, but I absolutely love the sprites from the original, I, the freaking ROM that I downloaded, actually this outskirt, I love it so much, in the top left we have Pidgey, in the top right we have Clefairy, in the bottom right I think we have Eyehorn, in the bottom left we have Kangaskhan, and I just like it, I think it just looks amazing, and I'm gonna leave it in for this series, just because it looks so good, and it even has a little red thing up top, and I don't know, it just really suits the game, and I really like it. I don't know about you guys, and I hope you guys like it too, because I really do, and I'm gonna be keeping it in, definitely, but... So far, what I have planned out is I'm going to be playing this one, then I'm going to play Pokemon Silver, and I'm going to play Pokemon Emerald for Gen 3. In that order, this is what I'm figuring I'm going to do so far. Now we're going to go talk to Mom. We're going to go talk to our man. Man. Ma'am. So, each of these episodes is going to be about a half an hour long, and then, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be doing half an hour episodes every week. Now we got to go talk to Gary's sister, and you know, to get a town map. Yeah, I know he's there, I just beat him. I forget, I don't know, it's been a while since I played the original. No, my favorite part, honestly, about this, about the original Blue and Red were the sprites. I love the sprites in these games so much. Now, if you talk to this dude, you get your first potion as a sample from him. Then we gotta go up to the Pokemart in Viridian so we can get something a parcel for Professor Oak that nobody picks up from. Dear God, we just made it through there so quick and easy, like without a struggle. I am so surprised that we did that without running into a single Pokemon. Like, I've, ne I've never done that before. And not while playing Leaf Green, Fire Red, Red, Yellow, Blue. No. Never. Never, ever, ever, never, ever, ever, never. 
Alright, thank you for Professor Oak's parcel, bud. Now let's bring this back to Professor Oak. He's gonna give us our Pokédex, I think. Or did he already give us our po or he's gonna give us Pokéballs. He's gonna give us some balls to catch some Pokémons in. And of course, I'm just gonna lay this up now. So far, I already have my team planned out for what I want for my team. I'm gonna want Blastoise on my team. I want a Bird Jesus, which is, um, Pidgeot. I want a Gengar. I want Snorlax. I want an Primate. And uh, I don't know, the sixth slot is still open for whatever I want to put in there, depending. I'm thinking maybe an Arcanine. Arcanine? Either that, or I want a Ninetales, because I need a fire type. I want a fire type in there too. It's what I want for my final team. So far, is what I got, is what I'm thinking. Because I got a lot of strengths, and yeah. Oh, Waffles, how is my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to like you a lot. You must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What? You have something for me? Delivered the Oaks parcel. <laughs> Yay for me. Ah, this is the custom Pokeball I ordered. Thank you. Which I think that's actually the GS ball. Gramps. What did you call me, Paul? Oh, right. I have a request of you two. On the desk there is my invention. Pokeax. It automatically records data on the Pokemon you've seen or caught. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. Waffles and Blue, take these with you. Yeah, Pokéx. How did he give it to us from the desk and without a uh, dirt? What? The what? I've always questioned that. Alright. You're too old, I understand. You can't go around seeing all the Pokemon fill your dream for you. Yeah. No, can we have, can I have some balls? I need, I want a ball. Blue, I don't care about you. You're just a freaking little brat. So now we can get the town map from his sister. I also love the original, um, um, music in the game. Did Do we seriously not get fuckballs in here? In the beginning? Hmm. I guess not. Mm. I love the music. Now can we catch a Pidgey? I want a Pidgey. That's how I want to start off my team. Just with that early on Pidgey. That's how I want to, I want to start. I'm going to catch a Pidgey really early on. Start my team now. So then we can be prepared for everything. Alright, let's just get Pon Pon up a little bit. I, I just love that nickname for a score of Pon Pon. I don't know why. I don't know where it came from either. It just kind of popped in my head like... Pom Pom, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to name Pidgey for Jesus. What am I going to name Pidgey? Mm. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Maybe I'll just name Pidgey for Jesus. Or I'll just name Pidgey for Jesus. Now, another thing with, since I got Squirtle with the first gym facing Brock, it's going to be about three times easier than if I got Charmander like I thought, like I was thinking of doing, which is a big plus for me. <laughs> um, the only problem is I want to try and catch, I want, I'm going to have a small little, it's going to be a little bit tough while going against um, Cerulean. Okay, that was a crit. But as long as I have Bird Jesus here, I might be good. Don't crit again. Perfect. Oh, I don't have any Pokeballs, do I? Rip me if I have no Pokeballs. <laughs> I 
I have no Pokeballs. <laughs> I'm gonna here. So, we're just gonna kind of... We just kind of gotta get to Viridian and heal up our Pokemons real quick. I want to catch a Minky early on, which we can catch to the left of Viridian. And we'll already have three Pokemon to our team. For our final team before we move on. Which, I don't know about you guys, but I like that. Now, Vulpix or Growlithe we're gonna have to catch later on in the game, depending on which one I choose. Um, Gengar we have to get later on as Ghastly originally. Um, and as well as... Um, let's see, who do I want on, who do I want on my team currently? I just said it a couple minutes. Oh, Snorlax. Snorlax, we have to catch later on, too. After we're gonna cut. Uh, probably right after we catch gas there, so. Perfect, Pidgey. Thank you for coming. Oh, perfect. Level 4, too. I think that I, that's the highest level I can get on Route 1, actually. Is, um. I was at level 4, so I'm honestly pretty surprised that I got this lucky. I didn't pick up any Pokeballs. Just a wee bit. I, I'm kind of sad now because I was a little before Pidgey. But I just lost because my own stupidity. Alright, let's pick up some Pokeballs. On the mark. Oh, that's depressing. That's very depressing. I like to carry 10. Actually, I like to carry around 20, but I don't have enough to carry to buy 20. I'm just going to buy 10 here. About 10. Now let's go catch us a Pidgey. This time. For real. Actually catch a Pidgey. And not forget our poke to buy Pokeballs. Or forget that we don't have any. Level 4 Pidgey, level 4 Pidgey, level 4 Pidgey. Level 4, level 4, level 4. Level 3. Not quite as good, but beggars can't be choosers. Level 4, level 3. It works. I can deal with it. I can survive. I will live through the dilemma of not having a level 3 of a level 4 Pidgey. Let's try and use a Pokeball here. If not, we're back to try and tackle one more and hopefully it doesn't fade. Okay, never mind. There we go, Pidgey, first try. Easy. Alright. No, I will be naming every Pokemon in this, um, series, just so you guys know. And I'm just gonna be Bird Jesus. I'm just gonna go with Bird Jesus. Oh, come on. Where's the backspace? Crap. Alright, perfect. We have just enough. See you guys in the next one.